face. I have no feeling in this whole side of my face over here, so I can't shave. So I just said I'm gonna be a hipster for a while. All right. <laughs> nice. So that's how it happens, right? So right. We sink into hipster hipsterdom. <laughs> hipsterdom. Yeah, yeah, hipsterdom. That sounds good. That sounds good. <laughs> professional. I'm playing one that uh, I usually play on this, this station, but you guys should check out the page. He's actually gonna be uh, posting the. First music video for this new one. I sent you the uh, the demo. For it. Right, right. That was going up on your page first, so that'll be like the first place that Vegas is getting. It. You gotta check out this new song that we're coming through. But uh, in any event, I might play it later after this. But I'm gonna play one of one of the older ones anyway. All right. That's what you call a teaser, folks. <laughs> Look at 
baby when I look Oh baby when I look at you I felt like we should have lowered the lights. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little confused, though. Are you saying, baby, when I look at Jews? When I look at Jews? Oh. That's what it is. Yeah, no, when I look at Jews, it's sometimes I, just, it, I get flushed all over. I touch myself, you know. It's, Jews do that to some you, people. You touch your berry? I touch my baby. I don't have any babies. You, 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 touch, you, touch, you touch, no, touch your I, berry? No, but when I see the Jews, I want to touch that's, a baby. That's what it is. So, any okay. baby. Any baby. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's fantastic. <laughs> that that's quality songwriting right there. You got to go with what inspires you. I know that's what inspires me. You know, Jews and touching babies. Jews and touching babies. And cat dander. In fact, that's the name of his next album. Yeah, <laughs> Touch- Jews and touching babies. Jews touching babies. <laughs> Jews touching babies. Yeah, that's an entirely <laughs> different song. With the, uh, with the the political turbulence that's in the world right now, this is nothing anti-Jewish. No, 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 no. No, it's no, it sounded Jewish. good. Yeah. yeah. Pro Jewish. I want, I want How can it be bad, bad when you're, you know, touching babies? You never know. Sometimes people take that in the wrong light. Right, right. People no. sometimes think that's the bad way of touching. Well, I guess yeah, it depends don't on how you touch that. the baby. Well, I mean, there's, there's, I look at it this way. You know what? There's plenty of deadbeat fathers out there. They don't ever. I thought he was going to say there's plenty that's of true. dead babies. Plenty of dead babies. No, that's the crime of humanity shit. But God. I think Rebecca keeps one in her purse. But thank God he didn't say that. Yeah, thank God. Obviously, obviously yeah. I'm, a, I'm a classy. Right, of course. Guy. Yeah, yeah. He can't sing a song about dead babies. Yeah. Of course not, man. Or can you? <laughs> you know, he can't sing about. That's where you go. I don't know, Jay. Do you have a song about dead babies? And I go, yes. Yeah, you want to hear it? Goes like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I do have a song about dead babies. Oh, it's called called Dead Baby Hunt. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, I, I, do you play that on the uh, on the silly side? I do, I do, actually. You gotta play some more of those, man. I, that's, that's not a very challenging hunt. <laughs> yeah. Well, you gotta find the right dumpster. Usually Jeez. high oh. schools. Oh. oh. It's, it's not like you're it's not like you're you're hiding your own baby there. Yeah, you you're looking for somebody else's kid. It'll be a weird Easter egg hunt, you gotta find your own eggs. <laughs> no. So do you do covers as well? I try to. I try to so very much, but yeah. I can barely figure out my own that when I try to do other people's stuff. It's, it's always it's such, a, such a shame. Although I, I did that, the, uh, the Beatles one here, just barely got through that. Oh, you want to hear, hear the dead baby hunt? Yeah, why not? This is from the same guys that did the song Fish Heads back in the day. (laughs) I'll tell you this much, I never play it all the way through. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, just enough to get that feeling, right? Just enough to get that feeling. So, yes, there is a song. When people go, Jay, do you have a song about anything? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's as low as the low right there. <laughs> that's uh, Dead Baby Hunt from uh, Barnes & Barnes, for those of you interested. <laughs> you can hear song, You can hear songs like that and more every Sunday. <laughs> Richard Cooper's here. Yay. That was not a Richard Cooper song. No, I remember. Not- but he inspired me to play. That's what I tried to do. Him and his Jews and touching babies. Do you have any songs about running? Running? Well, uh, Richard. Oh, yeah. Perhaps you? maybe a song past tense. Like from the police? Is that what you take me at? Is that what it's all no, about? Well, guys, I'm half black if you guys aren't checking it. You got the webcam, I think. You got the I'm, I'm actually yeah, interested we got in a very specific song called I Ran. 
by the Flock of Seagulls. Greatest song of all time. You probably know it. No, no, I, I, I don't know this song. No? All right, well, it's fine. You got time to work on it. Next time That's we great. see ya. Is this a song, wait, wait, it's a song to cover, though, right? It's a cover, yeah. The cover song. Flock of Seagulls. Flock. It's the greatest song of all time. And it's, and it's called I, I Ran. I Ran. I Ran. You have never heard it? What? Oh, my God. It's Unbelievable. Classic. Dude. It's like, it's like WWSSD. <laughs> what would Sylvester Stallone do? Everybody knows that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> What would he do? What would he do? <laughs> what would he do? Make Expendables 4. Yeah, right? <laughs> Probably too much to our lament. Are we, on, are we on 4 now? Well, he's making another Rambo. Wait, why? Oh my God. <laughs> he's Rambo 4 is coming. Yeah. How old is he, like 70? <laughs> yeah. And he looks great, you know? <laughs> Where Rambo defends the VA hospital. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. The VA hospital, yeah. <laughs> is he saving veterans? I don't know the storyline. I just read that he's making Rambo 4. Rambo battles osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest battle of his life. Yes. Don't Rambo, fight for his life. Rambo 4 depends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will he make it out alive? <laughs> depends. I halfway don't believe that. I gotta go look that up. It's, I, it's, it's totally true. It came out during the uh, Sony leaks. It came out? No, it came out during the Sony leaks when they uh, oh. were doing all that stuff. That was one of the uh, hidden projects. Yeah, pl- plenty of stuff in there was all lies. That was uh, all fabricated. Oh, yeah, sure, all of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the prices of how much they're all worth. And Have you seen the movie yet, the interview movie? I did. I, I, watched it on my, I watched it on break. I think it's a marketing point. What, what are you thinking on this? Uh, who knows? It was a great movie. I thought it was funny. I, I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to tour it. <laughs> they were stre- they were streaming it free, man. Wait, wait, they were streaming it for free. Yeah, they were. Hey, yeah, they were. Hey, I watched, I watched, I watched it free. In fact, even put the link up on the Facebook page because they go, "This is the free link from Sony. Enjoy it for forty eight hours." Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, that was cool. I didn't see it though. I haven't seen it. It was fun. It was, it was, it was way better than I thought it was gonna be. Because then I'm like, oh, it's gonna be overhyped, of course. But no, I thought it was fun. It was, no. it was definitely a lot of fun. Instead, I watched Snowpiercer. <laughs> Why did I do that? Snowpiercer. That was a good movie. See, it got like, Rotten Tomatoes got like 95%. It was okay, but I was like, seriously, you're, you're the last bit of humanity on a fucking train? Like, this is where you all wound up with? And it was just, it was just such an awkward, and like, the end of the movie, I don't really want to spoil it for anybody, but it, the train blows up, okay? First off. So, I was like, why? Did I just watch this movie? Why? What was the point of this movie? I just lost like an hour and a half right, of my trains. life. No I was, trains, it was crazy. Right. But I did watch The Equalizer right after, and that movie was awesome. I haven't seen that one. I haven't been in the movies in probably like two months, man. I need to go catch up on some movies. All, all I can tell you is Eddie Murphy kills it in that movie. Just fantastic. What a great really? one. Really? Yeah. The Equalizer? Eddie Murphy, yeah. Oh, no, it was Denzel Washington. My bad. See, I, my bad. I'm not back with this thing again. I don't know, you my know bad. who the hell I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, that's my bad. bad. All right, Richard Cooper, let's find out who you are. Let's get you to do another song. Yeah. All right, all right. Where are you from? Here and there. Nice. Me too. Yeah, for real? Mm-hmm. Baby Cabbage. That's what's up. Me mm-hmm. too. Baby Cabbage. <laughs> 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 Ever, ever, ever. 
You all right? It sounds like you hurt yourself a little. I know, it's down there. Like somebody grabbed your nuts and yanked or something. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> that is why he went as Prince for the Halloween party. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. It did work yeah. out really well. It did. I like the pictures I ended up getting. I said, ah, I didn't do that half bad. You know? Yeah, it turned out really good. It wasn't too bad at all. Man. I'll be there oh, my God. Too. That You were Prince? I just thought you were like a black Dracula. I didn't. I didn't know this. That's close, That's my bad. That's close to it. I mean, <laughs> my eyes will be a little, a little green and sucking blood pupils. Yeah. I can't see that as being a terrible thing. No, no. <laughs> no, that was a good prince, dude. Yeah, that was cool. What would you come at? Me. Yep. Oh, one of <laughs> Yeah, I didn't have a call. We just stopped by. Me and my wife, we stopped by momentarily and saw everybody hump Dino Mike's leg and then took off. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. When he was gimped out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny because then Mike goes over there and starts humping his leg, and Tino Mike's like, "Hey, Mike." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, right away. <laughs> like he he was expecting it. He, he would have been disappointed had it not. Yeah. Happened. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this wouldn't have been wouldn't have been the same. Good things to do, man. I, next time though, you've got to. I'm gonna come late. You just got to tell me what he's got on, and I'm just gonna run to a store and see if I could find it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. It'd be really great, and it's the wrong costume. Yeah, he's only wearing a fig leaf. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it. One. Get the complimenting. I've got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fig leaf with the bag of nickels. It's <laughs> <That's> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, study buddies have a uh, open mic next Saturday, Butters Bar and Grill, Durango and Warm Springs, eight o'clock. So if you sing, tell jokes, read poetry, whatever, come on down. You're, you're, it's it's open to everybody. Yeah, because Nodding works on radio. Warm Springs. Putters. Putters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Putters. Not to be confused with Strokers, which is next door. <laughs> this is this is Putters. This is what you want. Okay. They serve alcohol there. It is bar. I would hope so. Yeah. yeah. You never know, man. Go they have I good, think they'd go out of business. Hey, welcome sandwich. to the bar. Hey, we can't tell you anything. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Their turkey club is really good. At oh, Putters. It's nice to find a bar that actually has decent food. Yeah, I actually do like their turkey club. They used to, the Putters used to be, a lot of them are, have the old T-Birds menu. If you've ever been to T-Birds, a lot of the Putters used to be T-Birds way back in the day. We were 
transformed over. When you were a nom. Yeah, when I was a nom. <laughs> and so they kept the T-Birds. A lot of the stuff on the T-Birds menu is still on the putters menu. And the, 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 if they saw the turkey club, they it's good. Do they use turkey? Oh, I don't know if it's real turkey, but oh. a turkey-like substance, which <laughs> you know, is nice in my gullet. Yeah. <laughs> when, when it's, you know, digesting, it gurgles nicely. You know, I feel comfortable with it. A girl doesn't gobble? No. That's 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 what kind of concerns you, you know? Maybe it's real, maybe it's not. But it tastes good. It tastes all right. That's <laughs> how I feel about things nowadays, you know? Yeah. When I eat a sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very concerned, I guess. When I eat sandwiches. Where do you find these people, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> I can't give that information out. <laughs> From the cabbages. <laughs> so, study buddies, how long have you been doing music for? That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> no, uh, together, f- t- together for a little over a year, but um, separately, I've been at it since before she was born. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of creepy, but that's that's great. That's good. And what what about you? Me, I, I just started taking classes this past weekend, and you know things. Really <laughs> it's really panning it's out for you, man. Out. Yeah, it's working out well for me. Yeah, I'll have to get you in touch with my buddy. Um, Oh, I don't have any. Never mind. <laughs> 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 did, you, did you make a deal with the devil? Yeah. yeah. No, I made a deal with Jesus. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Of course, it's probably Wait. the same Jesus as you're thinking of. But the it's Kanye, like, Kanye West? No, 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 no. Jesus? no. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yes, I, was gonna, I hate to break it to you. Yeah, it's Jesus. I hate to tell you this, but that's actually my dishwasher. His name is Hector Jesus Cesar Martinez. <laughs> Not a bad guy. No, we had Lupita, but she was a lazy bitch. <laughs> we had to let her go. Yeah, she stopped working. She passed along to me. I need she, to find some more Spanish people here. In this she, she didn't work. For she, sex. We had to go to Home Depot and get a new one. <laughs> yeah. So, Richard, would you like to study buddies to do a song for you? Yeah, yeah. Bring, hey, you guys Serenade. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Man, I don't need the headphones. Here it is. You just started classes. The sweet, you need them. The sweet Sarah. Study buddies don't. They've been studying a long time. They're buddies. Let's do another cover. That was fun. Yeah, I got one that was practicing. She's got a Doctor Who sticker on the uh, guitar. Yeah. That's, that's what's up, people. Yeah. yeah. And my lanyard. And, and the, <laughs> what's going on today? That's a TV show, she, right? She, she rocks it on the strip with suspenders and, and a bow tie. When I go busking. The bow ties are cool. <laughs> yeah, right. Bus skiing? Is that what you said? Did yeah. you go bus skiing? Is that what you said? You don't know Not you butt skiing. <laughs> bus skiing. What? Bus skiing. Yeah. Bus, what is? B-U-S-K-I-N-G. It's, it's a fancy river street performing. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never, I thought maybe you like actually like tried to ski on buses. I was like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> how did I never hear about this and how do I get involved? You can now. Yeah, so you got to be on a bus and they got a yeah. big rope like water skiing. The problem is on the street, the buses stop too frequently. That's true. It's yeah, a lot like express. it's like yeah. an old man with prostate problems. Right. Yeah. Well, that that's what makes it challenging is not sliding into the back of the bus. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Blow my mind. We're gonna do Imagine Dragons.
Nice. I have to ask you, do you guys know Best Day of My Life song? No. Because Radioactive is my before I take a poop song, I sing that, and then I sing Best Day of My Life when I'm done. It is amazing. It's a hard song to do acoustically. Yeah, probably. If, if you take a poop on the studio, though, I'll Google it and learn this. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll, like, I'll do like a, an e-how. Yeah, it'll, I'll do an e how on. It'll be like a, a you know double dare physical challenge. You, yeah, you knock one out, and I learn a song. Like yeah, and that. we'll turn it into like a documentary. You know what I mean? It'll be great. <laughs> no, but we have to start in like the morning, like what I eat, you know, how I'm feeling, you know. We gotta really get into it. We'll get you those uh, Jack in the Box tacos. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be that'd be great. Well, the problem is, is they might not ever come out. <laughs> that's that's the worry with those. I was going to tell you I have a Jack in the Box story, and, and, and this, is, this is it. I was saving it for the air, and I forgot. We were talking about Jack in the Box tacos and how deliciousness they become when you are drunk. So, but here's my issue with Jack in the Box. When I was younger, 16-ish, I uh, got hooked, addicted, addicted, honest to God, addicted to Jack in the Box's oh, I remember 99 the story. cent yeah. chicken sandwiches. <laughs> like, you laugh. I'm serious. It started off with... Just like one, you know what I mean? Like, well, I could eat one, you know, I can handle one. And then it turned into like two. Then I'm like, I'm just eating two. It's no big deal. I'm not hurting anybody, you know, eating my two chicken sandwiches. Then it turned into four, okay? Now I'm like, you know, I'm still eating regular meals and I'm eating these on the side. They're just, I just like the way they taste. I could quit anytime. Then it started off with I'd get off the bus, I'd get two chicken sandwiches before I went into work. This is after eating my breakfast. I would then, at lunch, I would walk back to, to Jack in the Box, and I would get two more. And then when I was done working, I would stop back by Jack in the Box and eat two more before I waited for the bus. I literally stopped going to the bathroom. If you needed, if you need something to like plug a hole, just mix a bunch of that shit together and it will stop it. Okay, it will, it will clog a radiator if you got a hole in it. It will fill a hole in your tire. This shit, I literally could not go to the bathroom. And I had to go to the doctor. And the doctor said, Mike, you have a problem. Okay? You have a serious problem. He gave me a 12-step book on how to beat my addiction. I literally, I literally had 